Hello students, welcome back. Let us continue with chapter 9 of your textbooks, that's area, uh, areas of parallelograms and triangles. We'll jump on to a new concept, triangles on the same base and between the same parallels. And uh, for this concept, we have a theorem, that's theorem 9.2, which states that if two triangles lie on the same base and between the common parallels, then they're equal in area. So, which is why what I have done is I have drawn two triangles. If you see triangle ABC and triangle DBC on the same base BC and between the same parallels BC and line M. So, we have points A and D on this line M which is parallel to BC. Now, I need to prove that area of triangle ABC is equal to area of triangle DBC. So, how do I do that? What I am going to do is I will draw a line from C one parallel to a B. So, let us say my line is C P and I will draw another line from C parallel to B D and I will call this Q. So, what do you have now? You have your parallelograms A P C B and D Q C B. Why did that I call them as parallelograms? Because I told you that CP is parallel to AB, right? And CQ is parallel to BD, okay? And you have AP parallel to BC and DQ parallel to BC. Therefore, you have two quadrilaterals. Let us write this down, then I will explain you further. So, I will see construction. Draw. CP parallel to AB and CQ parallel to BD such that you have P and Q. So, on uh, you have AD, PQ that means all these points they lie on the line M. Now, I am going to say CP is parallel to AB through construction as well as I have. So, for this, uh, let us take a look at AB is parallel to CP, CP through construction, right? And also, I have AP parallel to uh, just one moment, AP parallel to BC. Why AP is parallel to BC? Because M is parallel to BC and you have P lies on M. Right? Therefore, what can I say? Therefore, quadrilateral APCB is a parallelogram. And I'll mark this as 1. Similarly, I can prove that quadrilateral, now this quadrilateral B, D, C, B, uh, sorry, B, D, Q, C is a parallelogram. I'll mark this as point number 2. So, now if you take a look at your uh, parallelogram, a, P, C, B. Let us draw it and try to understand. So, I have my parallelogram A, P, C, B. And I have a diagonal A, C. So, what can you say? A, C is the diagonal of the parallelogram. Therefore, it divides my parallelogram into two equal triangles. So, which are my equal triangles? A, B, C and A, P, C. Therefore, what can I say? That A, B, C is half of this parallelogram A, P, B, C. Right? Now, triangle A, B, C and parallelogram A, P, C, B lie on the same base and between common parallels. What are my common parallels? A, P and B, C. Therefore, what can I say? Therefore, area of triangle 
ए बी सी इज इक्वल टू हाफ एरिया ऑफ योर पैरलोग्राम ए पी बी सी राइट एंड आई मार्क दिस एज थ्री Similarly, if you take your parallelogram DQ BC, so if you take DQ BC, you have your diagonal DC out here, right? See, this is your diagonal. Therefore, similarly, I can say that area of triangle DBC is half of the area of parallelogram DQ BC. So I'm going to say similarly, area of triangle. DBC is equal to half of area of your parallelogram DQBC. Let's mark this as four. But now, if you observe, you both your parallelograms APBC. Sorry. both your parallelograms apbc A, and dqbc they share the common base and they lie between the common parallels because i have points ad bq lying on the line m right so take a look at these two figures i have separated uh, for you, you to understand but now let's take a look at these two parallelograms in this diagram i have ap uh, apcb and dqcb so let me just rename the parallelograms correctly so i have A P C B and B D Q C. Okay. A P B C. A P C B and a D Q C B. They lie on the same base B C and between the common parallel that is your line M and B C. Therefore, what can I say that these two parallelograms are Equal to each other, equal to each other. That's why they are uh, they congruent to each other. Therefore, the areas are equal, right? Now, your parallelogram APCB and parallelogram DQCB. This is APCB and DQCB lie. on the same base bc and common parallel so what are your common parallels you will say aq or line m right and which is the other parallel the common base bc therefore area of parallelogram APCB is equal to area of parallelogram DQCB. Let's mark this as five. So, if you take a look at equation numbers three, four, and five, see, you have what can you say? That area of triangle ABC is equal to area of triangle DBC. Why can you say that? Because let's say I take half. area of i can say therefore half area of parallelogram apcb is going to be equal to half area of parallelogram dqcb right now using 4 and 5 uh, 3 and 4 what can i say that see half area of parallelogram apcb is triangle abc so i'm going to say area of triangle abc is equal to area of triangle dbc and i'll say from 3 and 4 so this diagram was only for you to understand you don't really need it and we have proved that for two triangles lying on the same base bc and between the same parallel so the two parallels are your line m or line ap aq and bc the areas of the two triangles is equal so i will say hence proved
so this was about uh, the area uh, the th theorem 9.2 we will take a look at its converse in the next class thank you hope this video increased your knowledge for more such videos and a completely free educational content log on to www.epathshala.org or visit our epathshala youtube channel we have each and every question solved for math physics chemistry and biology so subscribe our channel share with your friends like our facebook page and follow our twitter handle for regular updates and important educational tips and also win epathshala goodies so what are you waiting for? Subscribe this channel and enjoy the freedom of education.